What up, people? It is now time for 2018 Playoff Football Five Bugs Break Number Five for eBay. All right, let's get this thing cracking. It's a fresh case. Let's see what we got. I'm just going to switch it up and get boxes from all over the place. That's three. And there's five. Alrighty. Let's see. Five boxes. Five boxes. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. See what we get. So we got two autos, two relics per box in this stuff. In this stuff. It's been a little minute since I've done playoff. See what we got. After this break is Bowman High Tech Baseball number 15. After that, we will be focusing on the website, ripcitycards.com. So make sure you go get your team if you have not already. Do my eyes deceive me? Oh, the man, the myth, the legend. He is a gentleman and a scholar. My man Ryan, what up? Not much, Ryan. Trying to get uh, these eBay breaks done so we can focus on the store. How's everything with you, man? Been a while, been a while. All right, let me knock this out here. Good luck, everybody. All right, so this is the base set. So I'm just going to separate everything. Make my law, my soldier's life a little bit easier. We got Richie James, autograph for the Niners. My man, dude, have you been playing online? Red Dead Redemption is ridiculous online. It's a lot of fun, but damn, if you're not posse up, you're going to have a bad time. Carry on Johnson to 99 Lions. We have DJ Moore to 24. Rookie ticket for the Panthers. You know what's funny, Eric? I was I was gonna buy like the the expansion packs for Destiny 2. And then Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, and then, you know, that was the end of that. I feel you, Ryan. I feel you. That, that's Dude, I'm still, I'm still on Chapter 1, bro. I, I don't play video games, honestly, like, in, in a, in a seven-day week. I might play, like, four hours, which, which is, which is terrible. <laughs> Zeke Elliott to 99 for the Cowboys. I'm still in Chapter 1, man. Like, I'm still just just riding around with my horse, you know, hunting down night night folk and, uh, and trying to get my pelt game up, trying to search for the legendary uh, creatures and all that good stuff and all that. Yeah, ha haven't done, like, any main missions or nothing. Just exploring the world. It's a really fun game. You, you really lose yourself in it. I haven't even beat Spider-Man yet. Aaron Donald. Rams patch. Yeah, Ryan. That, that's what I'm on right now. That, that's that's what I usually do. Is my first run is 100%. 99 
my first run, I, I go for 100%. And then, and then after that, I usually play again. And the second time around, you know, I'll usually, like, have more fun with it. Derrick Henry, 99, Titans. Like, like for example, Spider-Man, I got that game at almost 100%. Like, I got, uh, I got, I did all the Black Cat missions. I did, like, all the research stuff without giving away any spoilers. I've, I've, I'm pretty much done with all the side quests. The only thing I haven't finished is the main missions. So, I'm pretty much at the end game of that. Uh, Calvin Ridley Falcons patch right there. But yeah, as far as Red Dead, I'm trying to get 100% on my first go around. And then when I replay it, I'm going to replay it as a bad guy. Because right now, I'm all about that honor. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to be honorable. I'm trying to be a good guy. But my second playthrough, oh, I'm going to be a piece of shit. I am going to be terrible. <laughs> Simi Cubs Jr. to 5 of 10 for the Redskins. Very nice. That's that's usually what I do with RPGs. Is my first playthrough. I if I can't get to a hundred, I try to get to it. And then if, if it's that good a game and I decide to play it again, the second playthrough is usually a lot more fun. Because, you know, that that's when I decide to be a bad guy. Yeah, well, we had to, Ryan. We had to, man. That 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 Bowman draft is gonna be huge when it comes out next week. It's scheduled for the fourteenth. It was supposed to come out this week, but they pushed it back to the fourteenth. I'm not sure if you knew that. All right, second box. <clears throat> Nice one, Ryan. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, bro. You did mention that you were going to uh, make an appearance when Bowman Draft came out. And sure enough, true to your word, you have come back out of hiding. So, dude, uh, are you now fully moved? Well, last we spoke, I know you were in the process of moving. Are you, are you fully uh, settled in now or what? Are you for ding, bro? Still unpacking? I feel you, Ryan. I feel you. Let's see what's in the second box here. I really like these thunder. The, the inserts in this stuff are cool. The hidden gems, the thunder and lightning. They'd be even cooler if they were autographed. The playoff heroes. Reese Fountain of the Colts, rookie autograph. Well, bro, it's a playoff ticket, a rookie ticket, I'm sorry, number 20 of 24, Sony Michelle of the Patriots. Very nice, very nice. Nice hit right there for the Patriots. Royce Freeman, rookie card for the Broncos. All right. That's a cool card. Let's 
stargazing. We got Luke Keekley of the Panthers to ninety nine there. Wait a minute. Okay. Trying to keep everything separate here. Organized. Jay Rice patch for the Niners. And there, Tyler Lockett, Seahawks to ninety nine. I feel like this year's Super Bowl is up for grabs. Mike is sicky to 50. Sneaky three-color patch there for the Dolphins. Gasicki's been a bit of a letdown so far this year. But then again, the Dolphins as a whole have been a disappointment, <laughs> as usual. Thunder and Lightning. Super Bowl in Chicago and Kansas City. I don't know, man. Both of those teams going through some things right now. Chicago just lost to the Giants. <laughs> and Kansas City just lost their best running back. Josh Rosen to 99 Cardinals. I think the Super Bowl is going to be Saints-Rams. But I, honestly, I feel like anybody, like I feel like it's up for grabs right now. You know, one week the Rams look really good, and then they lose. Another week the Saints look really good, and then they lose to the fucking Cowboys. Well, yeah, not not. But I was I was thinking uh, Chiefs Rams. My bad. Not Saints Rams. That that can happen. Could happen in the NFC Championship though. Exactly. Saints, uh, not Saints Rams, Chiefs Rams. That would be a high scoring game. But I think we all know the Patriots are coming out of the AFC because it's the freaking Patriots. So then it's the NFC. Honestly? I'm going to throw this one at you. I think it's going to be Rams Chargers. Watch out for the Chargers, man. They they have been looking really good this year. What up, Chris Fitz? You know, they, they came away and stole a game from the Steelers on Sunday night. And they look real good. What did I do now, Chris Fitz? What the hell? I say hi to you, and you call me a, an NSOB. That's not nice. And that's another. And that's another thing. The Texans look really good. Ah, uh, Chris Fitz, I'm not stealing anything, man. Real, recognized, real. That's all. You know what they say? Imitation is the highest form of flattery. Chris Fitz, you should be blushing. All right. Let's see what I got here. Well, I mean, Chris Fitz, you you could have bought the Mavericks. Is is I mean, you know, just, just saying. Alvin Kamara, Saints patch. It's it's like I tell you all the time, Chris Fitz. Buy your team in every break, and guaranteed you will hit eventually. Pierre Garçon to 99 for the Niners. But yeah, I thought of you when I did it too. I was like, man, if Chris Fitz were watching this, he probably wouldn't care because he only likes fancy things. 
Marcus Mariota patch for the Titans. <laughs> you know what's funny, Chris Fitz? I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna fill the other half of that absolute tonight, and watch there be one more Luca in there, and watch it be the glass insert case hit. Calling it. Because the case hit is still in the second half. Zach Ertz, 25 Eagles. Whoa, Aaron, did you really just compare Rivers to Tony Romo? Man, that, I don't know about that one. Josh Allen, Bills autograph. That's a good one. Fair enough, Chris Fitz. Fair enough. All right, let's keep it rolling. Malik Jefferson, rookie for the Bengals. Antonio Callaway, 2 of 10 for the Browns. Rivers, Cutler, Romo, same robot. Wow. I, I, don't, I don't even know how to respond to that right now. As you can as you can probably tell by my size, Aaron, I do not agree with your opinion. Uh, but at the same time, I'm also having a tough time, you know, arguing, you know, the contrary to that, you know. Roquan Smith Bears rookie autograph, very nice. I don't think I would put Phillip Rivers in the same boat as Cutler or Romo, especially Cutler. But I don't know, man. That's I mean, I feel you, but at the same time, I feel like Phillip Rivers has been an elite quarterback for a while now. Just for some reason, just can't can't put it together. Ito Smith to 99 Falcons. I, I hope this is the year, you know. I hope the Chargers come out of nowhere and win the Super Bowl this year. You know, I, I really like Phillip Rivers. You know, the the guy is is intense. He's a hundred percent all the time. He he seems, you know, if he were my quarterback, you know, he he seems like a like a dude that I would run through a wall for him. You know what I mean? He just I don't know some something about him. He like he just. He has that it factor. Tony Romo never really had that it factor. And Cutler, don't even get me started on that guy. No, I, I, I definitely hear, Aaron. That's why I'm, I'm having a tough time arguing you right now. Because you are right to some degree. So, that's why I, uh, <laughs> I am shutting up. <laughs>
What's up, Blob? Blob in the house. Blob says, crazy scenario I heard today. If Chargers, Texans, and Patriots sweep the rest of the season, that would mean the Chargers beat KC. The Texans would be number one seed. Yeah, I think the Texans are number three seed right now. You know, but I, I got I, I gotta say I'm I'm rooting for the Chargers. Uh, I, I like I really I like Philip Rivers, man. You know I don't I don't want Philip Rivers to be bunched in with Romo and Cutler. You know I I really don't like that comparison because. Yes, he hasn't been able to win the big games, but my my thing is this: they wouldn't even be in that position to be in that big game if it weren't for for uh, for Philip Rivers. You know what I'm saying? Same with Cutler and same with Romo. Yeah, they never could win the big games, but if it wasn't for them, they wouldn't have been in that position in the first place. Mark Andrews Ravens autograph. Oh, well, listen, everybody knows that Brady is the GOAT. Brady is the GOAT. As much as I hate him with every fiber and atom in my, in my, in my, in my being, you know what they say, real recognize real, and I do recognize Tom Brady as the best quarterback of my generation. Richie James, the 99 Niners. Greatest quarterback of all time? Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to give him that one yet. I still feel like Joe Montana and Terry Bradshaw better quarterbacks than Tom Brady. But that's just me. Again, I do hate Tom Brady. So anytime I get a chance to shit on him, I will. Ito Smith, <laughs> Ito Smith Falcons autograph. Yeah, exactly. Johnny United is great quarterback. Yeah, yeah. It's really hard to compare eras to. But, you know, quarterbacks from that era. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I really don't like comparing eras. Ray Ray McLeod to 25 Bills. Sam Darnold, Jets patch. Drew Brees to 99 Saints. Yeah, I'm I'm glad I was able to watch Marino in my lifetime. Even though I didn't watch him in his prime. It's still way better than any quarterback we've ever had uh, since Marino in a Dolphin uniform. Josh Adams to 49 Eagles. I, I remember uh, Marino's last season. I think it was 98 or 99. And he, bro, and he was still throwing that ball 60 yards down the field effortless. It's too bad we never gave him a defense and a running game to play with. What's even sadder is he saw a Super Bowl his rookie season and never got back to one for the rest of his career. And now the Dolphins have been forever cursed, never getting a quarterback that's been, you know, even close to as good as Marino was. Terry Bradshaw, Steelers patch. All right, now it's time for the last box, Mojo. 
I think we have. No, we don't have a statue of uh, of Mark Duper. I think we have a. I think we have a statue of Marino outside of the stadium. Last box mojo. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. Especially those without a hit. This is true. The revolting blob. That is uh, probably one of my proudest. Uh, Proudest moments be, uh, being a Dolphin fan is uh, is those Dolphins teams in the 90s, early 2000s, where we had like top five defenses in the league for years. We just could not get it done uh, for whatever reason, man. But we were, bro, we had studs in, in like almost every level of our defense. We had Jason Taylor in his prime. Zach Thomas at linebacker. We had, you know, Brock uh, Brock Marion at safety. And we had Patrick Sertan and Sam Madison at the corner spots. And those two were like lockdown corners before, before the term lockdown corner was a term. We had great defenses, man. Year in, year out. Top five, top ten defenses. In the entire NFL, we just we we could we just couldn't score. But whatever. Last box mojo. What do we got? Let's find out. Yeah, yeah. Playing in Miami is tough, man. There, there's so much to do in Miami. So many. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? So many distractions. You play in New England. Ain't shit to do in New England. Mitchell Drabisky, he's a bear, but it says Broncos for some reason. But he is indeed a bear. Interesting error there. You know, so when, so, so when somebody from like a little rinky-dink town asks me, Hey man, how come the Dolphins suck? And then I look at their little small town. Well, that's because there's more things to do in my city than there are in yours. Well, you can go bowling on a Friday night and then you know shut it down at 11 and then boom everybody go to sleep not in Miami Justin Reed to 99 Texans you know I, I hear a lot oh man your teams you know oh Miami fans suck you guys are always showing up late you know how many people live in Miami you know how bad traffic is in Miami and again you know how much there is to do in Miami of course I'm late I've been in traffic for like that for like the last two hours because half of these dipshits are trying to go to the freaking, you know, trying to go to, to the to, to, to the beach. The other half trying to go to the casino. And I'm just trying to watch the Dolphin game. Anyway, Corlin Sutton, Broncos pitch. I, I wish the Dolphins were better too, man. I like the, you know, as one thing we can agree on is one... Fuck the Patriots, right? And uh, fuck the Jets. You know that's one thing about Bell, Bills and Dolphins fans. We have we like our our rivalry is is still is still pretty pretty intense. But you know it's not it's not hatred like we hate the Jets and the Patriots. Like there's a there's a mutual respect between Dolphin and Bills fans. When it comes to the Jets, fuck the Jets. When it comes to the Patriots, motherfuck the Patriots. Jalen Ramsey to 99 Jaguars. Uh, Dan, what's going on? What, what, what did I do wrong now? We 
We got Shaquem Griffin. Nice. Seahawks autograph. I like Shaquem Griffin. Nice hit there for the Seahawks. Base cards there. Connor is out for Sunday's game. Connor. Connor, what are you talking about, Chris Fitz? Okay, how about this one? There we go. Cam Newton, the 25 Panthers. Oh, sorry, Dan. Well, I mean, I got the recap coming up here. So in case you missed anything, uh, I will recap it. Let's see if we can get you a hit here at the end. Corey Davis to 50 Titans autograph. Oh, that's right. James Conner. How bad is his injury? <coughs> is he going to be out for a while or, or what? Because they, they, you know, they really need that kid if they have any hopes of a Super Bowl run. A high ankle sprain could be a couple weeks. Man, I would heal that kid up, man. ASAP. Mariota to 99 Titans. Which sucks for fantasy football owners. But that boy definitely got to get healed up for the playoffs. And that's it for the break. All right, so I don't have anything to random. So let's go ahead and just do our recap here. Starting with our low number parallels, we got Antonio Callaway, 2 of 10 for the Browns. Simi Cubs Jr., 5 of 10 Redskins. Uh, patches, we have Corlin Sutton Broncos, Mitchell Trubisky Bears. I don't know why it says Broncos at the bottom, but he is a bear. Terry Bradshaw Steelers, Sam Darnold Jets, Marcus Mariota Titans. Alvin Kamara Saints, Miami Dolphins, Mike Gesicki, 19-50. You got to learn how to hold on to the ball, bro. That guy, he fumbled the ball way too much this year. That's why he don't get any playing time. And he doesn't block either. But anyway, Jerry Rice Niners, Calvin Ridley Falcons, Aaron Donald Rams. Autograph time. What do we got? Let's find out. We got Corey Davis to 50 Titans, Shaquem Griffin, Seahawks. Ito Smith Falcons, Mark Andrews Ravens, Roquan Smith Bears, Darius Fountain Colts, Richie James of the Niners, and now Uncle Jesse's best of the best. We got Josh Allen of the Bills, Sony Michelle, 20 of 24 for the Patriots, and DJ Moore, 5 of 24 for the Panthers. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody. We'll get it out to you.